Will this be the catalyst for Alibaba? I think China and U.S. have to repair relationships to continue the success of the both economies. Hello everyone, welcome to Just Invest Today, and today we are talking about the next catalyst for Alibaba, man. Hopefully this is it. Guys, I'm seeing a lot of good signs, good articles coming out against Chinese and um, U.S. relationships. Guys, if people find that the U.S. and China relationships work together, the catalyst for Chinese stocks will crush it, guys. So that's what I'm seeing right now. Let's get into this article. People do not want you to see this article, guys. They're hiding it from you. What's always on the front page? All the negative. They don't see the positives. So let's get into this article. China securities regulator seeks closer cooperation with U.S. by rudders. Can you guys please like and subscribe to my channel? I'm going to be providing good content for you guys, man. Like and subscribe. China securities regulator said on Sunday it will seek closer cooperation with the U.S. counterpart and support overseas listings after U.S. regulators tighten disclosure for Chinese companies expressed concern about Beijing's regulatory actions. So guys, the China is going to U.S. right now and they want to cooperate. They're going to be allowing more U.S. regulators into their space and being able to regulate their companies. They're more open to it. They're trying to repair relationships right now. So guys, all this uncertainty is good for the stock. It's good for having these short-term issues because we can buy companies at cheap prices. So when people see the market turning, boom, you're going to see these stocks flying. The, the China Securities Regulated Commission said in a statement that it had taken note of the new requirements of the United States Securities Exchange Commission for disclosure regarding Chinese company listings and that the two parties maintain the spirit of mutual respect, strengthening communications on the regulation of actions related to China. So we know what happened with Didi. China came out of nowhere and just shut down its listings. So. Of course, people in the U.S., people in Canada, people in the U.K. are going to be like, what the hell happened, guys? We just lost a ton of money. So now, they're going to maintain communication, strengthen the relationships together to make it seem like they're going to have more, the U.S. is going to have more requirements of the Chinese regulatory body. So that means that's going to be so much stronger when it comes to listing and just doing stuff in the U.S. market to kind of stop all the fear and all the, the, the FUD going on. So the CSRC has always been open to companies choosing where to go public. Guys, the regulators are open where to go public. They're going to allow the U to still have listings in the U.S. And China's base, uh, basic national policy of promoting reform openness is unshakable. The financial openness to outside world will continue. They will continue to list IPOs in the U.S., guys. So that's what they're saying on the website. This is the top regulators saying this. And Jinping would not allow these regulators to talk like this to any other people if he wasn't saying this himself. That's how what you got to think about. You know regulators are very tight with the government. So not going to allow this open talk. Just to be happening and guys when i keep hearing people saying that oh um they're gonna make all these companies go private and all this other stuff about privatization of um like alibaba or tencent like why would they do that they're seeing how successful their economy has been coming uh becoming like look at the success the success of the chinese market do you think they're gonna do that if the companies turn like private Guys, they're trying to become the number one economy. Like, that's one of their goals. So why would they privatize these strong companies now after all this success? It doesn't make sense. So Chinese issuers must also disclose whether they were denied permission by the Chinese authorities to list on the U.S. exchange and the risk that such approval could be denied or rescinded. So that was the issue with Didi, guys. They didn't, like, they didn't go through the whole process the Chinese government told them, no, you cannot list, but they still did it anyways because they were money hungry. They they needed the money, Didi, right? So, and then the whole hammer down on Didi just killed that stock, man, just destroyed it. So, 
we can see, guys, the regular, like, Chinese regulatory body is opened to more regulation and more togetherness, openness, to get, like, a better um, grip of what's happening in the market. We see what's happening. And look, look at this. Boom. And shift Biden's has created diplomat, not politician, for ambassador to China. Guys, they're sending amb- they're sending people down to China to uh, remend the relationships, guys. So the, the administration may be looking to an envoy to play a more central role in the increasingly fr- uh, fractious relations between two global rivals. So guys, they're trying to build a relationship right now. They see what's happening. There's so much stuff happening between China and and the US but guys they need that relationship guys just like a few months ago Biden was mad that the Chinese was not buying enough um enough of their products guys they need China to like to help with the <laughs> with the American GDP like we the China is the biggest purchasers of all stuff American uh, American right now guys you think they're gonna screw up that relationship guys we have the Taiwan issue, guys, we have the trade issues happening when it began from Trump, and still China has been chugging along. So, you see what's happening, you see the regulation actually being more open to what's going on and what's going to be happening in the future. So, this is a huge potential catalyst for Alibaba. Like, I can see this being a big catalyst. As soon as people amend relationships and people see the China and US government working together once these articles become more mainstream guys the stock will blow like all the Chinese stocks will blow up if you like this video like it subscribe to my channel and get back to you in the next video peace